Hey guys, Rock here, Island Pond, Vermont. It's November 17th, 2021. Today I got a 1993 Honda 4Trax 300 4x4. I'm um, gonna we'll do a little walk around and then I'll take it for a test drive and you guys can see how it goes. Yeah. So, I mean, this is not a new machine. It's, you know, uh, almost 30 years old now. Um, but, uh, you know, these things get worked. It's not in too bad a shape. It does have brand new Sun F tires on it. I believe they are 24 inch, so an inch over stock. And it's got two inch lift kit in it. Um, so yeah, they're just uh, real workhorses. Got a little trunk under, under here. But other than that, pretty basic. Some of the light switches, they don't work here um, as far as your neutral, reverse, but uh, just a good old tank. Um, speaking of tanks, these uh, gas tanks are steel. If you look in here, that thing is clean as a whistle. A lot of them will be uh, a little rusty, so that's one thing to watch out for when you buy these old Hondas. Because a rusty gas tank is not good. Anyways, let's hop on it and try it out. All right, so we'll hop on this thing. So it does have electric start. Um, just hit the button, just like that. This thing runs so good for a 30-year-old machine almost. It's also got a backup Kickstarter, so if you want to use that, it does. It's got a lot of compression, so it takes some, quite a bit, but uh, might help if you turn the key on. Usually starts one kick, just like that. All right. So we do get a little bit of snow out here today, so we'll see how she does. So pretty plain Jane, no speedometer or anything. I am running the GPS, so I do a little top speed run at the end of it. I'm sure it's probably going to be about 40 miles an hour. These things aren't built for speed, but... Uh, We'll find out. So as far as uh, brakes go, um, it's drum brakes all the way around. <clears throat> you got uh, these are your front brakes here, and then you got a foot pedal with the back, and then same thing here. Reverse is a little bit of a weird procedure. If you know these Hondas, you know them pretty well. I mean, they're all the same. Uh, you hold down the button, pull, you make sure it's in neutral, hold down the button, hold the uh, rear brake, and kick it down. And then you're in reverse. Um, and you just kick it back up to neutral, first gear. So these are uh, semi-automatic, no clutch. They uh, got a few deer tracks. Should be out hunting today. Um, be, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, semi-automatic, five-speed. Uh, they they say it's you know, so it, it's got five gears forward. They call first gear super low, and then it goes first, second, third, fourth, and uh, and that's just what they name it. But it's a five-speed, so first gear is very low on this. Um, this is first gear right here. So as you can see, I mean you could, well this is second, you can literally take off in second gear no problem. But uh, <clears throat> as far as the ride quality, oh it's excellent. <laughs> Not nah, it, uh, you know it's it's a fun fun machine. You can trail ride with it. But if you're looking for a trail ride, trail ride machine only, uh, this is not your machine. It will work, but there is plenty of other machines that will uh, ride it a lot better for you. Now, if you want the most, you know, one of the most dependable ATVs ever out there, this is probably probably one of them. The Honda 300. Everybody 
swears by them. A lot of farmers owned them. Um, I've seen them uh, been beat to crap. Big mud machine tires on them, and they were trail ridden hard, <laughs> and uh, and they held up pretty good. But um, you know they're a real workhorse for sure. Or well, this time of year, definitely a hunt, a good hunting machine. You know you could pull out, uh, pull your deer out, or whatever you need. It's full time, four wheel drive with an open differential, so one tire spins in the front. That's it. Um, which we will try out the full drive system up here. So we get a little bit of snow, so it's actually turning fairly easy, but, and it's not, you know, it's got a very open differential, so it does turn easy. All right, so first gear. Actually, there's not as much snow up here as I thought there would have been. So you can see that tire spinning. Actually, it grabs not too bad. Probably the tires fogging up a little bit. Probably the tires that are helping quite a bit. But that's no. I have to bring my chainsaw up here and cut that down. But we can get around it for now. Well, I am going to be disappointed if I see a buck up here. I don't have my rifle with me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can really crawl through anywhere with this, with that super low gear. Ooh. Maybe you should have wore some gloves. I'm thinking the uh, top speed run is going to be a little chilly. Like I said, I mean, this is not made for top speed, but I know a lot of people want to know the top speeds of these machines. Myself included. Uh, yeah, she rides great. <laughs> uh, you really can't compare. Oh man, even the uh, Honda Four. Uh, Foreman 450s are a lot better ride than this thing. Of course, the ground's very high, froze up right now, so that's not helping. Man, could use some hand warmers today. But, uh, so, this does have an inch bigger tires and a two inch lift. I think it's two, it might be three. Um, we're gonna try the rock pile up here. I'm sure it's gonna bottom out, but um, try it. Actually didn't bottom out there. These are pretty low set from the factory, um, and we really don't have a lot of ground clearance right now, but, but it's an improvement. Thought it was a little warmer than it is now. <laughs> yeah, this is usually a little swampy. There's a lot of rocks up here that you bottom out on. But this thing's got a short wheelbase, um, so that should help it get over some of this stuff. Nice if we had a little more ground clearance and a locker in the front, but we don't. Alright. Well, might have to push this one out. Usually I can get them out. <laughs> she needs a little help.
No, good thing they're not that heavy. Get up like that. <clears throat> we'll try to go straggle this a little bit. There we go. Try to warm my hands up here before we <laughs> get up on the flats. Well, <clears throat> other than that one incident, um, I mean, this thing goes pretty good. It gets decent traction. It's just when you uh, bottom it out like that, pretty much anything. Anything will get stuck. But if you would just listen to this thing, I mean, I got my helmet open right now. It's, you know, it's real quiet, which makes for a good hunting rig. Nice and quiet. No wheelies with us. <laughs> All right. Now, I haven't uh, <clears throat> said too much about this. It really, there's not much to say. Like I was saying, it's a good hunting rig. It's not a, not a great trail machine, but it works. It's tough, tough as nails, these old Hondas. Like I said, if you're gonna buy one, I mean, this one's clean, but I would definitely check the gas tank first. I, I have a Honda 350X that had a rusted tank. It was so bad. I tried to clean it out with uh, um, some type of acid. I don't remember what it was, but um, and it got rid of the rust. But it was so far gone that it ended up uh, ended up uh, eating the gas tank out too much. So I bought a uh, replacement plastic tank for that. And I'm not sure if they make them for this, but uh, but it'd be worth looking into if you had a bad gas tank. So a nice thing with these semi-automatics, you can drop it down into first gear or super low, and it'll just crawl down these banks. Um, I mean, this isn't steep, but same idea. All-time four-wheel drive, so it locks the three three wheels going down so you don't do a lot of spinning all right we'll get on the flats a little bit once we hit the dirt road I'll do a top speed test hopefully my thumb don't fall off <laughs> Another good thing about these Honda 300s, they are amazing on fuel. Uh, they really don't use much at all. They, uh, they use very little compared to other machines. They're light. Uh, you know, it's only a 300. It's an air-cooled machine. Um, no fan or anything to cool it down. Strictly air-cooled. And... Uh, they're just, uh, I don't know, they're good on fuel. Well, they're only 300 for, for one. Most of the time now, nowadays, that would be considered a very small engine, probably a youth machine. But uh, back in 93, uh, you didn't have a lot of choices. 
um, for four strokes anyways at that point I think 300 was probably about the biggest I don't know Cody at Yamaha had a 400 but yeah well after riding something new <laughs> you just uh, you really realize <laughs> the machines that have better suspension and power I mean this will do it but this is uh, you know full throttle coming up this hill I don't know fourth gear yet yeah, fourth gear all right we're out to the road and we'll see what we can get out of her I know I need to unthaw my hand first What are we guessing? I'm guessing 42, and that's gonna be screaming. I have not tried this yet, so like I said, I'm just guessing. All right, first gear. You can see how close the gears are together on this. Very close. Fourth and fifth is probably the biggest uh, spread. right out right there might get a, another mile or two out of it an hour but that's about it all right here we go <laughs> that's full throttle maxed out can't do it anymore Uh, yeah, anyways, we'll send this thing into the field. Uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty much the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this machine will be for sale. But, uh, I don't really know what we're doing yet on the price, but, but that's it. Good old Honda 4 Tracks 300. Alright, thanks for watching.